Hey guys, this is Commander Video here. Welcome back to another video. So today I am doing a house prediction. This is the first time I do a house prediction. And we're going to see if Republicans could take back the house now that the Dems have announced that they're going to impeach Trump. It won't help the moderate Dems if they actually vote for it. And if, you know, Bernie Sanders becomes a Democratic nominee, Bernie will do Bernie will will just destroy Democrats down ballot. So we're gonna see if if Republicans could take back the House. So we're going to start here with this, this this blank district in Oklahoma, which went for Trump by double digits, but it went for the Democrat very narrowly. This is a district that's going to pretty much, it's a safe flip, pretty much. And this district down here in Texas, this one, I, there's a Bush running in that district. They, he just announced today that he's running. I think that district is going to go or stay red. It went red in 2018. It's going to stay red. This district right here, it was very, very close in 2018. I think it could flip back. A Houston suburb. These districts right here, you know, close to my district, which is this one, which is unfortunately not going to go red, even though I want it to. I need Republicans next time to gerrymander it. Dan, can you please make a map and send it to Republicans so they can gerrymander Texas even more? This seat is Will Hurd's seat. Now, Will Hurd is not running for re-election, which is probably going to make the only Texas seat that's going to go blue that's held by republican one of the only seats this dallas suburb seat will go red and this one might flip it was very very close in 2018 it could flip back with with higher republican turnout remember in 2018 there was very low republican turnout in texas now in in georgia right here this seat was very very close in 2018 the democrat here won by less than one point i feel like it with higher republican turnout it could flip and there was also high Democratic turnout in Georgia in 2018. So th th that district, the one next to it is going to go red too. It stayed red by 0.2%. It's going to go red by a higher margin. This seat, I think this was a presidential candidate that was running against Trump. I can't remember his name right now, but that was his district. And I think the reason why he ran against Trump, the person in this district, is because he lost his congressional race and he got pissed off at Trump for making him lose. This district is going to stay red. Um, these two districts are going to be blue. They're likely, so they're probably going to stay blue if they're likely blue. This district is a toss-up and might go red with higher Republican turnout. There was very, very low Republican turnout in Virginia. That's why a lot of these districts in Virginia flipped. So this one stays red. This one, I think that's Virginia 7th. That's a pretty much a sure flip. And this one might stay blue. In Maryland, the most gerrymandered state, it should have two Republican districts, but it only has one. In New Jersey, a lot of seats in New Jersey did flip in 2018. There was very low Republican turnout in the state, too. So I think Republicans could flip those three districts right there. And, you know, Joey Salads is going to win in New York. So it's reasonable he's going to win New York's 11th district. And then these, state, and these districts stay Republican. And I also think these two districts in New York could flip. They, they were close in 2018. There were Republican incumbents there. The problem. The Republicans probably gonna win, and this district in Maine, uh, I think Maine, I, th I think had ranked choice voting in this district. The Republican got the most votes in the district, but because of ranked choice voting, the Democrat won, which is unreasonable. This is why we shouldn't have ranked choice voting. If you get the most votes, then you should win, even if it's by one vote, you should still win. In New Hampshire, this could flip back with higher Republican turnout. There was very low Republican turnout everywhere in the country, even in these Rust Belt states. You know, this district this district might stay blue. I know there's a district. I think it's that district that I just put red in Pennsylvania where the Democrat had a rally. And, you know, everyone was booing her for coming out and in, for support to impeach Trump. So she's probably going to lose. As is many Democratic incumbents, any ever any moderate Dem who does a rally and announces their impeachment for Trump is prob is is gonna lose. So this is Red Eagles District, Michigan's eighth district. Alyssa, even though Kevin loves Alyssa Slotkin, it's just no, she's not gonna hold on, because it's, it's unreasonable. And this that seat is Justin Amash's seat. Uh, it's gonna go red. Justin Amash could play spoiler, but I don't see. Justin Amash's district going red. Uh, Ron Kine's district, which is this one, I think might narrowly stay blue. 
I don't know much about the race right now, but I'll I'll make a new house prediction once there's more information on what's going on. In Illinois, I think these two toss-up seats could go red and this one might stay blue. So Republicans are almost at the majority at this point. So in Iowa, S- Steve King in th- this district has to be replaced. My God. He almost lost to a no-name Democrat, which is embarrassing for the most conservative district in Iowa. But, you know, with a different Republican, pretty much any other Republican besides Steve King could win in that district safe. And Minnesota, these districts are very interesting because this is like one of the only parts in the country where Republicans actually flip. Like, this this district right here, Minnesota's 8th district, used to vote 60% Dem, and then just it flipped in 2018. So, Minnesota is really changing. And D- Democrats don't want to admit it. This district also, it's going to flip. Montana, that's going to flip. This Utah district right here, it went narrowly blue in 2018. It was like two weeks after the election. It's going to go red. This is pretty much a sure Republican flip right here. Also, this New Mexico one, same thing here. Again, low Republican turnout caused many of the districts to flip. This district in Arizona might go red, and this one too. There was very low Republican turnout in these two districts of Arizona. So with higher Republican turnout, they're going to be really competitive, and and I think Republicans could win both. Alaska is going to be safe. Now, you know, Shane Huger, he's reasonable, and he's running in this district, so of course he's going to win. You, you know, it would be so funny to see Joey Salads, Shane Huger in the same Congress. You know what Joey Salads would do if he saw Shane Huger, and he was like up there reading a bill that he's introducing, J- Joey Salads will yell, that's unreasonable, that's bullshit, you're unreasonable, get off the stage, get off the... F- Get off the phone, get off the phone, you know. Joey Salas is going to be yelling at Shenkyu, and Shenkyu will be like, oh, you're unreasonable, and then there's going to be a whole fight in Congress, and Joey Salas is going to record it. Joey Salas is going to make awesome prank videos with Shenkyu. And now these Orange County districts, I think they can all flip, honestly. You know, Orange County, there was very low turnout in Orange County in 2018. So I, th- and you know, some of these districts in Orange County, like the three districts I just put, went 17 points in 2016. And and there was still low Republican turnout in California in 2016 and 2018. So with higher Republican turnout, the, all those districts will flip. And uh, these districts in California, these might stay blue. I think this one could go red. But I think this one might stay blue. Let's just put that one blue. And then these Nevada districts, this one might stay blue. This one in Nevada, but this one might flip. In Colorado, this district will probably stay blue. Whoops. This one in Washington will stay red, and that one will stay blue. Um, Kansas. Kansas was a weird state. I don't know if... Th- I think that one district in Kansas is blue. Did flip in 2018, I'm not sure, but it, it'll probably flip back if it did. Nebraska's second district, it, it went red in 2018, so it probably is a good sign that Trump's going to carry that Nebraska second district. Even though many Dems claim it's going to be a toss, so it's going to be so hard for Blumpf to carry it because, you know, he's unpopular, so it's unreasonable. Um, I think we only have Florida left, all right? Now, I think this seat in Florida could flip, but this one in Miami-Dade County probably won't. And this one stays red, and this one stays red, and I guess we're done. So this is probably the house, how it would look like if they impeached Trump and... You know, he's not going to get removed, obviously, but if they impeach Trump and they go on with the impeachment, this could be, you know, the house in 2020... Maybe Republicans can flip a few more seats that they didn't put red here, like Wisconsin 7th, that one, the Minnesota seat, another Minnesota seat, the Nevada seat, and more Orange County seats, the California seat, they could flip. They could keep Wilhurd's district in Texas. They could um, win a New York, another New York seat, another Pennsylvania seat, maybe. Another Michigan seat, you know, that one in Detroit was very, very close. It, that one in two in Illinois. They could flip many seats if, you know, things go really bad for Democrats. Now, let me update the map. If if Bernie Sanders was the nominee, just expect, like, these districts to be very, very competitive. That one. 
Um, Will Hurt seat could be very competitive and even stay red. Even though I doubt it'll stay red. This Nevada one. This this one in... Even Shen Kuger, he even might lose. And I, 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 as much as I hate Shen Kuger, I just want to see him win. So I'm going to keep his district blue. Because I just want to see him win. Because he'll fuck up the Dems in the house so bad. It'll be so hilarious just to see the, de the Shenk destroy these Dems. And just destroy the house for the Dems next time. It'll just be so hilarious. You guys would laugh at that. It'll be so funny. This New York one might flip. Uh, and I think that's it. So I think maybe a best case scenario. Oh boy, I forgot the Detroit one actually. They put it as red. There we go. So maybe a best case for Republicans in the House could be this. It could be 236 to 199, which is basically just the opposite of what we started with. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know it was very long, but I hope you guys enjoyed this house prediction. This is basically, this house map that I made right now is like a Bernie Sanders versus Trump because Bernie would be very bad down pallet, especially for the moderate Dems in the house. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Orangutan Nathan, out.